How's it going, everybody? Rob here. Back with another video playing some more of uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I don't have any money. What's this? Oh, customized folios. Okay. Um... Points five. This one costs five. Okay, so Aerith. Tifa. Let's go ch talk to this guy. Howdy! Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But... I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. No. The thing is, we don't we have, have no money. money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet. By far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made them. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> If y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Okay. Let's get some materials. Because some of this stuff I could probably sell. Since I got the transmitter. Timeless rod. Wait, is that a weapon for Aerith? See what's up here. I 
I got a Moogle medal. But yeah, let's look. Um, Okay, there we go. That was weird. I wonder why it switched me to camera mode. Oh, but, um... No. Let me check your old-timey rod. Or timeless rod. There we go. To her. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Yes. I mean, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Wall. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they get help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. I'll keep an eye out for golden blooms. But, uh, trade. Buy. Let's see. What do I want to sell? I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. Okay, so golden plumes. All right, Pico. Where'd you run off to? You mean Pico?
How can I help you today? Oh. Thank you for stopping by. So I gotta keep an eye on that. For now, though, let's go hunt this bird down. Is the exit to this place again? Here we are. Keep moving. Bingo. Chocobos. Yeah! Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. That's gotta be the one. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Approach Pico without being noticed. If you are in danger of being spotted by him or by his pack mates, quickly press circle to roll out of sight. You can also distract Pico by throwing stones you pick up. Use L1 to aim and X, or no, sorry, square to throw. Dang it. Target has escaped. Okay. Retry. Dang it. Try again. Oh, this is going to be frustrating.
Ah, damn it. Come on. Oh my gosh. It's this one. I can figure out a way to do this. No, 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 no. I don't have any rocks. There we go. Okay, got him. Oh, I see. So every time I catch a chocobo, I get a plume. There we go. Ah, there's our guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea, if we ask him this. Ain't that right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. 
though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. We find him. We'll turn him on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. All right. Let's go over here. Here we are. Activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan for all manner of signals, which in turn reveal myriad locations of interest, such as long forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution, though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real-world location. That's the combat simulator, or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. In fact, after pouring over stories from the grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one, the tower and colossus known as Titan. Engage him at your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Which particular task would you like to learn about?
Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me, that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Ah, yes, I was hoping you would ask. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto Relics. <laughs> A rather endearing name, if I may say so. At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Hmm. Can't really decide. Let's do autocast. There we go. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. 
And remember, okay. you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. All right. Assessing and defeating new foes will provide Chadley with data he needs to update the simulator with combat challenges. Complete these challenges to earn a variety of, of rewards, such as powerful subbing materia. Speak with Chadley to access the simulator. Okay. Nice. Alrighty. So we got that done. And I actually we got a few places to to check out too. Chocobo Intel All Rounders of the Grass Field or Grasslands. Activation Intel Moogle Intel Activation Intel Combat Intel Phenomenon Coastal Lookout Oliver's Farm Activation Intel. Okay. So we got plenty of places to check out. For now though, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. If you guys can, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on social media, links are in the description down below. As well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Rob Novakia signing off. Have a good one. Take care. And I'll see you guys next video.